For t greater than zero, using the p operator impedances, we represent the capacitor with its impedance, which will be 25 over p, and the inductor by its impedance, that will be p over 4, p over 4. And now we solve the circuit. However, we observe there are no sources, and a solution of the circuit would give us that all voltages are zero. We use the fake source technique to find the differential equation. I'm going to introduce a fake source in this branch. And again, we solve the circuit. Reference, node 1, 2, and the branch currents arbitrarily chosen almost here and here, but not here. This is already predetermined, and so is this one, this direction. Let's write the equations. Two KCL equations, one for node 1 and one for node 2. KCL1 and KCL2. And we solve this system of equations. Observe that the right-hand side of the top equation is exactly the same as the left-hand side on this one. This is more common to the use of the calculator. I'll take advantage of this opportunity to show you another convenient technique of using your calculator in writing these equations with minimum effort. We have just typed the first equation and let me copy all of the right-hand side term like this. Highlight, highlight, highlight the whole thing and then I go and I say copy over here. Red, copy, and then I get out of here, enter, and I write my new equation, equation writer, and the first thing I will do is a paste with this one, red, paste, and here we have already pre-tied for us the left-hand side, equal to, and we write the rest, as easy as that. And these are the two equations we need to solve. And this is the system of equations we are to solve. We are asking for V1 and V2 in the solution, but before actually pushing the key for a linear solver, let's go to mode CIS and make sure that everything is clear. In particular, this approx flag is going to be unchecked. OK. OK. And now we ask for the solution. Observe. Both V1 and V2 are given as functions of P, as differential equations. The current we want, which is this one, will be V1 minus V2 divided by 4. Let's subtract V1 minus V2 and divide that by 4. But to do that, allow me, we go and break the object into pieces. And there is V2. Let me clear the tag of this one, not forget that that is a V2, eh? Swap, clear equation, that is V1, swap again, subtract, 4, divide. And now we simplify the formula with the eval key. Evaluate, that is the current through the capacitor. Let's write it down, 100F, divided by 4p squared, 121p, plus 1,000. That is the differential equation whose solution gives us the current in this 4 ohm resistor. This is that differential equation written in Leibniz notation. We know that the fake source is 0, so 0 is the right-hand side term. And that is the differential equation, and this completes the third part of the exercise. Now we solve the characteristic equation, a quadratic one. The roots are complex conjugate numbers. Observe that in electrical engineering we use J for the imaginary unit. This is sigma and this is omega. The circuit is underdamped. The current in that resistor has this form. K1 exponential negative 1513 T sine 
4.608 radians per second times t plus k2. k3 is zero in this case, because of the right-hand side of the differential equation is zero, as we saw. We only need to find k1 and k2 